there's some curiosity about how uh, the miter attachment worked on a CNG or Morrison printer saw. So I thought I'd throw together a quick video with the old shaky cam. So here's the attachment. Well, let's talk about this first for the curious. So here's the usual thingamajigger you stick on there. Um, there. This has got a uh, micrometer adjustment at the end here. Um, it's all calibrated in picas, which makes a lot of sense from a printing standpoint. Um, and then, so you got that thing, you stick your slug in there, adjust this for your your measure, and then um, it's got this really neat little thingy-me-jigger here that you operate a few times, and it gets toit, and you go whoop, and it locks that in. And then, if my blade wasn't out getting sharpened, it would be, let's see if I can do this. It would be right about anyway. Oh, they're going the wrong way. There, it would be on that arbor, but it's in the shop. Uh, blade guards up out of the way just so we can uh, see things. All right, back up. Manual. All right. So. That's uh, it's got a quick adjust here for, and like I said, that for doing um, short stuff. But then, if I don't know, you're setting a newspaper that was 10 feet wide, you'd <sighs> some junk on my garage right now. You'll see, it'll be worth it. I got the camera. Now. All right. So when you want to do really long things. This bar here, which has its own micrometer adjustment, um, pops up from underneath. And then there's one of these stops, which is similar to the other one, that can drop on there. But this sticks up on top. So then you can uh, take something really long, you know, if you're cutting up your plastic level. You can pop that on there, and that creates a stop at uh, this end. Lock the thingy-majig. Boop. And then when you cut, then the end slides off, but that doesn't matter because it's already locked. It's just a guide. So that's kind of handy. Um, that's what that's for. Uh, I'll just fold that back away. Now, it should be easier now that my brain's attached. There, it just swings. Okay, so we've seen those two. The last remaining attachment is the one of actual interest, which is the miter. So there's this little stop on the end here. I guess I should show the underneaths. Um, it's not a heck of a lot to see. There's a uh, So there's this cam lock here, um, which will become apparent its purpose in a minute. Nothing to see there. And then there's this little bit, which will also become apparent. So let's flip it back over. Plunk that down, line it up, push the pin to the stop, operate the cam lock, and now it's um, become one with the cross slide. Um, and then, uh, there's this little lock here, which locks the whole thing, but if we undo that, I can now, um, swing this thing open. And it's not the smoothest operating right now, but, um, it's kind of interesting. It's got this brass key here that, uh, kind of is like a, what's it called, <sighs> telescoping drawer slide kind of dealy. Anyway, um, and there's, it's hard to see there. Let's see if we can, uh, you can see the zero on that mark. So you, uh, I think it will go, I gotta take this thing out. Oh, now you can't see. For fun, there's what's on the end of that thing. 
teeth. Uh, but with that out of the way, I can now swing this thing. Oh. Hmm. I don't know why you'd want to go. But, uh, zero degree miter might be a little tricky. Anyway, oh, well, maybe. But we'll just slide that back in. So, you need to set your angle, so let's do something outrageous like a 45. Lock that. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm missing um, something that goes in this slot there. Uh, what? I'm not exactly sure. I've only got some catalog pages to go off of. But there's some neat features about this thing. So it does say on here, um, clamp strip, clamp, ex excuse me, extreme right for strip material. So here we have a uh, linotype slug. And, uh, uh-oh. Is that sitting crooked? I think I... There we go. Had that clamped a bit funny. Oh, it wants to ride up. Hmm, look at that. There's a... Something going on there. Anyway. Uh... It's a terrible example. Strip material. There's this odd looking clampy thingy here that's got this slight... It's not the best. Slightly... kicked over corner there. And if I turn this knobby do here, um, this seem right, but I think for cutting strip material, this makes sense. Because that, that's type high, and it'll happily grab onto the face of the type, and then I can zzz and, uh, and miter that. But it feels like if I crank that down too much, it's going to end up crushing my, uh, yeah, anyway, put your stuff in, cut. Cut to the miter. Uh, there we go. So, yeah. Oh, I missed the coolest part. Um, um, this knob that I did brain farted and forgot what it was for, and I was trying to unthread it. Um, if I lock this down, see that? Shadows are terrible. Oh, oh. So, that seems to be, as far as I can tell, a, uh, a fine adjust so I can get my stuff in there for a 45 and then uh, gently kick this over maybe to um, get exactly but I don't I don't know I don't get it I don't get it because then it's all janky and folly overy uh, unless there's somewhere I don't know I don't know Hmm. Well, now you know what I know.